Hi everyone, welcome to another one of our educational videos to help you improve your squash. This uh, exercise that we're going to be showing you today, or I'm going to be showing you today, is to help you with return of serve, but also the service, but also to break down the components of the coordination necessary to be more successful in these exercises. It's useful for everybody, um, I would say specifically aimed towards the more beginning intermediate player. Um, but the way in which you move, prepare your body, prepare your racket, position your lower part of the body, as I will explain in a minute, is super, super important and how it can help bring more success to your body on the return of serve or the serve itself. Look for Okay, so here is the aim. Uh, first of all, you're going to take a position deep in the back of the court, uh, roughly around the back of the service box, just behind the service box. And um, that will make sure that you're practicing getting good enough distance on the ball. Um, you can, of course, start from further forwards, um, but this deeper area around here is more uh, familiar to when you're actually returning the serve. Now, firstly, I like to break down kind of the four step pattern that you need to do to uh, be successful in finding good balance and good coordination uh, in the body to be able to perform this shot successfully. The first one is to um, basically start with the racket up and back. This is a vital uh, factor for squash and good squash technique. We need to make sure that we support this weight, whether it's slightly uh, light, that's not too much of an issue. It's more the fact that we have to balance that anyway. So first of all, the racket being up, make sure that the grip is controlling this wrist and keeping it nice and steady. If you don't use your fingers and the grip there correctly, it will start flapping around. That will cause loss of control to the upper body, okay? So that is the first thing. So number one, racket up and back into position. Now you see I'm holding the ball with my left hand here, just because I'm a right-handed player. Obviously the reverse goes for a left-handed player. Now I'm going to use this side ball here to good effect to help me learn to judge my distance from the ball. Okay, if you're ever too close to the ball, you're going to basically form a bad balance position or have to move backwards. Okay, so first of all, I have to be able to coordinate the throwing with my left arm onto the side of the ball and then judge the correct distance from the ball. Now the correct distance from the ball should be roughly a comfortable step and an arm and racket's length away. Okay, as you go to step towards the ball and then follow through, that is the optimum distance to be from the squash ball. Okay, so with that in mind, I have number one, prepare my racket and take it back. It's now ready for the swing. Number two is to throw the ball to the side of the ball. Number three is to take that comfortable lunge or step as I just mentioned. You can use your right or left leg. I would, I'm going to use my left on the first occasion. It's going to be a lot more comfortable for me as it's more of a closed stance. If I stand more on the right leg, my balance is more difficult, although it's not wrong, and I swing forward and I open up my body. Okay, so rack it back, throw, step, follow. Let's have a look at that one more time. It's important not to rush or do everything at once. Rack it back, throw, step. Make sure that racket comes underneath the ball when contacting it so it can go nice and high on the wall. But you are not going to do that until you find stability in the lower part of the body. The same thing as I was saying about keeping the wrist steady by using the grip with the fingers. Same with the legs, if they're not stable and then the upper body is going to start moving around. So let's do that one more time. Racket back, throw, step. Target area is trying to get the ball as deep in the back of the court and as close to the side. Good luck. Okay, so now we come to the backhand side. The great thing with some of these exercises is you can flip a lot of the same principles. So that four step uh, structure that I said about still exists on this side. Obviously the body position is slightly different with the upper body because now we're playing the backhand. So what I will start off with is preparing for the backhand. Uh, swing so that my racket is back in its maximum position. You do that by firstly, same thing as the forehand or for right hand 
this. Keep the fingers nice and comfortable on the grip so that the wrist is supported. Now the racket is up and that's nice and stable. I will turn my shoulder and elbow and slightly pull it back so I now have a slightly bit more rotation. You need to use the whole of the upper body and the arm to perform the swing, not just the arms like this. So that's step one. Racket, back, shoulder, elbow, pull back. This is my starting position again, just slightly behind the service box. So now I'm going to pull the leg throw over my left arm, judge that correct distance, as I mentioned before. Comfortable step, and the arm and racket's length on the 